a document writing system. Um, it, it's an alternative to Word or OpenOffice or things like that, but it's a little more powerful and gives you a little more control over the things you do with it. Um, just as an example, I'm going to show you um, my homework that I did using LaTeX for my regression analysis course. So you can see it looks like a it's, it looks like a text document, a normal text document. Um, it creates a PDF, but it's better. <laughs> the The figures are a little more integrated with the text, um, and you can also program it and write other things with it. The tables look nice. All the annotations take care of themselves. Um, yeah, there are there are good there are good reasons to use this over Word. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick LaTeX document. Um, here I have a file called LaTeX example tech. Uh, let me open it in a text editor and. This is this is MacVim, but any text editor will work adequately, and we need to give it a few commands. So document class article title and example a tech document author. Okay. So then I tell it to begin the document. End of the document. And then between here, I type the document. So I say, we'll put the title here, make the title. And then I'll say, hello world. Okay. Simple enough. Save it, and then to make it, I go to the command line and say PDF LaTeX LaTeX example dot tech, and it crunches through, and I will have. See here, it says output written on LaTeX example dot PDF. So open LaTeX example.pdf. And here it is. There's our, there's our command, title, author, and our text. Um, this is cool, but there are better reasons to use LaTeX than just this. So let's put an introduction. So this is a section. You can also put in an abstract. This is an example of a document created using the LaTeX type setting. Okay, so there's the abstract um, section, introduction, we can put in another section. Mathematical equations. And we can put in an equation. So this is an example of an equation. And in between here, we can type any math thing that we want. So we can say probability is of i is equal to, we'll put a display fraction, um, e to the v sub i over the sum of e, let's 
basically the sum of i equal 1 to n of uh, e to the b sub i. Just change these things here. Excuse me. j equal 1 to n b sub j. Now, to use mathematics, we need to put in a new uh, AMS. You can use packages, and there's a great, there are lots of packages that help you do the things you want to do. I'm going to use AMS math for this one, just because I have mathematics in here. Um, I'm going to write, then I'm going to make this document again. And now if we open devil.pdf, say this. So see, we now have sections. We didn't tell it that this was section 1 or section 2. It learned that on its own. Um, you see the abstract is formatted nicely. Um, the mathematics are gorgeous. Anytime you see mathematics in an academic journal, there's a good chance that they've written them using LaTeX because it's just a, it's just a better system. Have a little bit of an issue there. Let me fix it. Yeah, see there I fixed it. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a great it's a great thing. Um, later in another one of these, I will show you how to integrate LaTeX with your statistical analyses, so that your documents can be automatically updated when your analysis changes. Uh, this is a great thing. The Institute has LaTeX template files so that you can do your thesis in LaTeX and not worry at all about the formatting of your thesis. You just write the thesis and the typesetting system takes care of itself. Um, citations in LaTeX are a breeze, including integration with Mendeley, which will be another podcast uh, in the future. But if you have any questions about how to use LaTeX, talk to me. Thanks.